Guys, today is the day. I got the money right here, and uh, let's just say it's been long awaited. <laughs> <laughs> the M3 has been at the body shop for a while. It wasn't actually supposed to be at the body shop. It was supposed to be at the detailing shop, but it was right across the street from the body shop. Um, long story short, we had the car to polish, paint, paint buffed, everything ceramic coated. I wanted the car to get that beautiful, clean title touch to it. But unfortunately, when he was actually polishing the hood, because it had that little paint chip, I don't know if you guys knew, but the clear coat came off the hood a little bit in a little area. I'll try to throw up a picture if I can find it anywhere. But yeah, unfortunately, when he tried polishing that out or whatever, all the clear coat just literally started chipping off like crazy. So whoever that painted the hood previously did a really bad job painting that hood as well. So um, I had my paint guy repaint it. Had my boy polish it and then he ended up ceramic coating it to protect it so uh super stoked on that we're picking up the m3 it should be looking like a million bucks right now so i'm so stoked so i got the money out of the bank yesterday um we are heading down to probably even trade cars i'm actually going to drop off my 328 to get the rear bumper fixed and painted my mirror caps painted as well and i was actually thinking about the bumper on the 328 the front one i don't think i'm gonna paint that one i think i'm gonna go with a different bumper mainly because i'm not a fan of it i just I, i'm not a fan of the m3 style um it just makes it look like an m3 even though it's not an m3 so i think i'm gonna go with something that's kind of unique if not probably just an m sport but i love m sport a lot more it just fits a 328 better than an m3 in my personal opinion some people love the m3 i i know i used to love the m3 uh, but as of right now i'm not gonna be painting that bumper we're we're painting the white mirror caps and the white rear bumper so we're dropping that off and driving home with the m3 okay so nor enough talking bro we need to head down there i am so stoked cold startup in the fake m3 <laughs> oh man this thing's so reliable <laughs> guys we are pulling up uh, finally, this has been a long time coming. I'm so happy that I get to drop off this one and also get painted. I wish we could paint the front bumper. I, I just don't have the right bumper, guys. Like, if I paint it, I'm gonna be spending like 250, 300 bucks just to paint it. And then, like, end of the day, I'm not happy with it. So, like, um, yeah, I want I want to get a new bumper. I was considering on just getting this one painted, but end of the day, guys, I just don't want to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and just park this anywhere, just pick up the M3, and then move this later. Just gotta figure out where to park it. Sheesh, is that Laguna Seca Blue? My lord, that thing's looking good. All right, bro, is this the moment of truth? Yeah. <laughs> bro, I've been so excited, dude. Bro, showroom quality, guys. Hold up. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, this came out of the dealership or what? <laughs> bro, straight from Germany. Guys, look at that. Okay, you know what? At this, oh my god, dude. What is going on? All right, well, <laughs> guys, I think it's time for a cinematic. We definitely need to replace that. It's the only imperfection with this car. Sheesh. Guys, it looks so good. I'm in the M3. The cinematic you guys saw, I shot at the house. I uh, mainly because I think it'll be have better lighting at the place. But uh, well, let me try to lower down this music, guys. First off, shout out to Jose, keeping the car super clean. Super happy about that. And man, I haven't driven my M3 in a while. Okay, so even though I have my M3 interior in the 328, um, this car still drives so much nicer. Like the suspension, the steering, like there's a difference. <laughs> even if you slap all that stuff on your 328, it does make it a lot better but it is not an M car. <laughs> also, shout out to Jose. Guys, I'm gonna have his Instagram linked down below. Uh, if you guys want any work with him, 
Again, he did a paint, kind of like a paint correction to get all the swirls out. I think that's what it's called. And then he did a polish and then ceramic coat. So I can't wash the car for like three or four days to make sure the ceramic coat actually adheres properly. Um, but yeah, if you guys need any work done with Jose, his link's gonna be down below. He, he's pretty much in the Sacramento area. So if you guys need any stuff like that in the Sac area, hit him up. Oh, it's super cute to see. I mean, that's the thing. I know I say cute with guys and that's because I just, I respect them, they're the homies, you know? Um, they When he started up the car, I was recording him pulling out of the shop and uh, he was like, oh bro, I can't move it. And I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. He's like, no, bro, I'm not moving it. I'm like, why? He's like, uh, because like, I'm gonna start it, but I need to let it warm up. And I'm like, bro, he's like, I, I said I have new raw bangs. He's like, nah, 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 nah. We need to make sure we take care of those raw bangs. So he loves this car. This is actually one of his dream cars. He's He was just taking care of this car as if it was his own. So I really respect him for that. Really good guy. Um, and shout out to also, we got the hood painted um, by Antonio, my guy. And then we obviously got everything ceramic coated in the end. So super stoked that everything came out. At this point, guys, let's get home. I have a lot of tiny parts for this car to make it absolutely perfect. Now that we got the pretty much the exterior, pretty much 99% perfect, it's ready for all the tiny pieces and it's gonna look so, so, so good. We're doing that all in this video. Um, man, I've missed this car. My wife's been driving this way more than me. Like I haven't even driven this car in probably like two weeks. Man, like the E92 M3 chassis is just an amazing chassis. It, it's something else. Guys, I need to clean this garage, but we are officially back home with the M3 that looks like it just came off of a showroom floor. Oh man, what do you got? Oh, actually, that can just get wiped off real quick. So according to Jose, I actually can't, wow, just wow. I am speechless. Guys, look at that. Like, look at the fitment of everything. Look at the progress we've made on this build, guys. Like, I cannot believe how gorgeous this looks right now. Obviously, we still have a couple of little things you wanna to touch up, and that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Unfortunately, I don't have that piece. If I had that piece, that would've made this car absolutely perfect. But what I do have is a box of little goodies that honestly, I've been picking up here and there whenever I've been getting parts for the 328. I realized that my door handle, my trunk release switch on this car is all messed up. So this is a way nicer button um, there's no stickiness so it's not gonna stick on my fingers um, this is actually a door seal uh, for the passenger side this is an AC button right here so that's something I've really been wanting to replace I'm hoping it's kind of the same texture because if it is uh, that's gonna be a direct replacement and then uh, hood latches and then this guy right here is a strut tower brace uh, mine's is actually cracked from the accident so we're gonna be replacing this as well but this is the only mod that I have right now which is the M button I honestly don't know if I want to put that on there or not I mean I think it'll look kind of good. I've been really digging the whole OEM plus feel to this car. Um, I don't know, should I throw it on or not? I'll let you guys decide. I'm not gonna put it on this video, but you guys let me know if I should slap on uh, the M button. Let me show you guys what it is exactly. But basically it's just a button that says M on it to replace that guy right there. So uh, again, I don't know if I wanna put this on just yet, just because of how OEM plus everything's looking on this car with OEM competition wheels, because this is a competition package E92 M3. Um, the spoiler is an actual BMW performance steering wheel from what, I mean not steering wheel, uh, spoiler. Um, and again, we have nothing else on this car that's aftermarket. So I don't know guys, you let me know down below. But without further ado, um, let's go ahead and start off with the trunk button, because it's probably the easiest. Guys, do you see how bad that button is? Literally, it's just disintegrating. Glue is literally coming all over the place. Every time I touch it, it's super sticky and it's getting on the brand new paint. Oh man, let me go ahead and just take this off already. Guys, that was a super easy install. We got the new one in there. Look how bad this old one was. It's so sticky that I don't even know if I can show you guys my fingers right now but there's already some black stuff on there already just by just barely touching this thing. I absolutely hated this thing. It's actually a very, very, very easy install. So if you guys do want to replace these, you can go to a local junkyard or BMW, I think sells this for like 40 or 50 bucks. All right, so what's next? Um, Let's go ahead and work on, so this is underneath the hood, that's underneath the hood. Uh, Let's go ahead and just do the window trim. I think that is much needed. So something I noticed when it's actually going down to LA, um, let me go and throw this in the interior real quick. I noticed that when the window was up, it kept on hitting against the trim piece right here. And I was looking in here and I was like, oh my God, why is there no gasket here? If you guys look at it, literally all the way down, there is no gasket on this trim piece. And on this trim piece is a gasket throughout the entire thing. So I ended up getting that seal from a local recycle place. I genuinely don't know how hard it is gonna be to actually put it on. 
take it off, I literally just pulled on it downwards. But I'm pretty sure installing it is going to be a little bit harder. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys down. Let's go ahead and install this seal so I'm more of an OEM fitment so this glass doesn't start banging against the trim piece whenever I'm driving. Well, I'm happy to say that that went in absolutely perfectly all the way down here. Actually, this is sticking out a little bit over here. Oh, there you go. Tucked it right in there. Bam. Okay, so what's super cool is that this actually just goes in super easily. All you gotta do is actually remove this gasket to install that gasket, and then you put that gasket right back on there. <laughs> bada bing, bada bang. Another thing perfected. I'm super happy. Details like this, guys, is super satisfying to install because it's things you notice when you're driving, things you notice when you're using the car, and when you start replacing it all in one video, it just, it just so much satisfaction comes to you. So the next two things are gonna be underneath the engine bay. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and perfect even more things. So like I said earlier in the video, guys, I had to get this whole hood repainted because this car was in an accident even before the accident that I picked it up in. And this hood was repainted. The bumper was repainted. Um, luckily, we got a brand new bumper repainted. We have a brand new fender here repainted. We have a brand new hood here repainted with good paint. So the next thing I noticed with this hood, though, is that the paint's kind of like rubbed off of here as well. I don't know why there was even paint on here in the first place. Or maybe this is actually primer on this guy right here. And same goes with that guy. They're supposed to be black. And for me, again, I'm such a perfect is that I actually picked up these two off another M3. So this is how it's supposed to look. I don't know why it's looking hella crusty like that. Like we're gonna have to replace that right now. And now that that's on there and that's on there, that's looking so much better. More like an OEM feel. The next thing is this guy right over here. So you guys know the impact was over here to the point where it actually snapped this guy right over here. Thankfully, this part's not actually broken. I think that's way more expensive. It's just it snapped this part right over here. Um, now, this does require us to actually remove a, a lot of things. I believe to remove this guy, remove that guy, remove all three of those bolts, these two bolts, and then replace that whole piece. But once we do that, our actual V-brace will actually function. There's I don't actually feel the wobble right now, but technically there's more wobble, there's more play, there's less stability if that thing's cracked, which it is. So let's go ahead and fix that so this car can actually drive the way it's supposed to be driven. And just like that, guys, we have everything back in place, everything tightened exactly where it needs to be. So I'm probably getting an alignment pretty soon, but I'm super happy that was a pretty easy replacement. Just to show you guys what exactly happened with the other one, it literally snapped in half. Like, there is no fixing this. This is straight garbage, straight garbage. Now, honestly, the last thing I want to install is this AC button. Let me go ahead and clean up my hands before I get in the interior, but I'll show you guys why. Look how mine looks. Look how terrible that looks. Like, everything else is in really good shape. That's why I don't want to actually replace the climate control or replace this. I just want to replace this button. So I got this button, and it looks like it's going to look pretty decent. I mean, this is more of a matte finish. It's more of a gloss finish. But it may not be, it's definitely gonna be better than that. I mean, this is terrible. So removing the actual climate control to put this in is one thing. You just pop out the carbon thing and then, uh, you know, you can get to that, pop out this piece. Like literally, you don't need any tools to do that. But then once you actually get behind this, there's a, like maybe like 16 tabs or something to just get off this bracket. Another like 16 tabs to take this thing apart. So it is an absolute mission. I'll come back to you guys in three, two, one.
came out better than I thought. You can tell that this is slightly textured, a little bit different than these two, but it wasn't as bad as my E92 one. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm super stoked with this. We don't have to replace anything. That looks super good. Um, maybe the next thing I have to do is over here because of my OCD. But guys, let me know down below what you guys think about the E92 M3 and how it came together. I think pretty much this is the video. This is the video that we buttoned everything up. Uh, we got the paint correction. We got the ceramic coat. We pretty much fixed every little detail with this car that we pretty much need to. I mean, like, yeah, the, the push button start is, you know, you don't have to, but we got everything done too, guys. The actuators are done on this car. The raw bearings are done on this car. It has 41,000 miles, zero lights on the dash, zero codes on this car. I think we saved it, guys. I think this thing is absolutely perfect at this point. So yeah, it is definitely time for a new build on the channel. I am looking, I am looking. I I'll keep you guys posted. Again, follow my Instagram, links down below. Any updates will probably be posted on there before YouTube. So yeah, I'm trying my best. I'm looking, um, you know, a car doesn't just pop up, you know, the next day. It takes time for a car to pop up. But the craziest thing is, whenever I'm not looking for cars, the exact car I want hits the market. And when I am looking for cars, there's no cars I want that hit the market. So anywho, let me know down below, guys, what you guys think about the E92 M3. Should I do a POV drive in this thing? Like, I don't know. Yeah, we don't have a crazy exhaust or anything like that, but it's still an amazing car. And if you guys want to see a POV drive, me redlining this thing or whatever, whatever let me know down below but without further ado that's gonna have to conclude this video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all in the next one peace out